so my name is Amarjit Kumar. I am having uh, seven plus years of experience. Currently, I am doing Java with Java development. So the technology which I work like Java with a Spring Boot microservices, a Spring Cloud component as a backend. Also, some of the exposures in AWS as a front end and uh, uh, all the DevOps tools I use for this like Apache, Maven, Jenkins, Jira, GitHub, ELK, Splunks for the development and monitoring the applications and cloud I have like AWS cloud services I use also I have used like a database like Mongo and Oracle so Oracle is a SQL, Mongo no SQL I worked so these all are the technology stack which I worked coming for the domain I have a good experience in banking, telecom, e-commerce and health insurance so current project which I am working that is based on the health insurance project so for that I am doing customization as well as implementation based on the client requirement so we are following here agile so based on the sprint task we need to work so whatever the Jira will be in a slice in that we need to work uh, the particular task so my role and responsibility for this uh, project like uh, this health insurance project so we are managing the portal so that customer will come in this portal and take whatever the insurance he want he will once he will take the insurance so internally we'll have a multiple process for this insurance like uh, we have to uh, take this insurance in the particular slots and stores and after that we will process the data we have to calculate the payment we have to uh, add the some rewards or some offer promo and all once this with these things will happen then we'll have a notifications email alert or uh, maybe report generations and all will be happen so this type of internally we have a multiple microservices which need to be performed so my role and responsibility here like we need to develop a microservices if new uh, de development or maybe customizations will come for that we need to develop a microservices some of the cases we have a multiple third party api which need to be fulfill the uh, health insurance or maybe in different type of insurance so for that we need to communicate with a different different third party so while we are communicating with the third party according to that we need to modify our changes also while we are sending the request or maybe getting the response from that client so that's the type of things also we are doing apart from this like uh, uh, while we are going for the changes so whatever the changes i have done so that will be go for the different uh, environment to deploy so once it will go for the production deployment in that time we need to verify our changes whatever the changes i have done is correct or not request response is coming proper or not what are the logs we printed what are the configurations is required for the productions related is fine or not so one uh, once we i will be available on call so if any issues will be there maybe immediately will be sort out and all so that type of work we are doing on daily basis yeah thank you oh, okay. Fine, let's, let's, let's start with the coding. Yeah. Okay, can I check your chat window? You can find the text, text there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to write a Java function which takes the whole text as the input argument, return all the dollar amounts inside it. Sorry, what I have to do? So you need to write a Java function. Okay, can you speak loudly whole, because... Yeah, I don't know why the sound is not coming. Hello? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so you need to write a Java function which takes mm -hmm. the whole text as input and return some, some of dollar amounts, amounts inside, inside it. Okay, whole text of input will be return dollar amount. Okay. Start from, yeah, star one, the whole string will be the input of the function. So return so expecting is sum of all the dollar amounts. So the output will be uh, dollar seventy. Uh, yeah, seventy thousand plus two. Dollar seventy, then dollar two nine nine. So you need to extract only the dollar amounts. This is a sample text. So basically you need to write a function which uh, uh, extracts dollar amounts from the string and return the sum. Mm -hmm. So here the text around the dollar amounts will be random. So you cannot guarantee anything. What is guaranteed is only dollar followed by the amount. Mm -hmm. Here are the string. So for that, uh, which type of functions we need to write? Uh, like. Uh, you Java eight. Write one function. So you, what, how you design the function and code the function is up to you. 
Mm-hmm. But the function has to, the output has to be like if you pass the string, you should get the sum of output. Sum of the, sum of the dollar amount. Okay, so in that dollar, there will be some space or maybe without a space also will be counted or in next line like that. No, the, that will be consistent. Uh, the after Immediately after the dollar symbol, the amount will be there. So that is the only thing you need to expect. The rest of the text will change randomly. You cannot guarantee anything. No, no, after dollar seventy, we have a space or maybe next line there. Right? No, 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 there is no space. We cannot guarantee anything. 70% okay. will be there. So like this will be the output, right? Uh, can you share the screen? Where are you chatting now? Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh-huh. Like this, this will be output, right? The output will be the sum of all the dollar amounts. 70,000 oh. plus, 299 plus, 800 plus, 2 lakh. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what is this. Oh, okay, you are trying to add. It's not concatenated. It is like, okay, get the sum of that. Sum of that, okay. So, 800, this, 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 okay. So, you can use your ID and uh, complete the function and get the output correctly. Uh, mm-hmm. Once you get the output, we can discuss the code. Okay, so. so better use ID so that you can run it and uh, get the output. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's seven. Mm, eight hundred. This this one. This one and then. So then, two legs, seventy thousand, eight, seventy thousand, one hundred, ninety. This will be the output. 